I do want to say this, that this is, I am declaring a call to action for our people to go out and meet with their local officials on a, in a polite manner and yep. just request, don't demand, don't tell them that this is something they have to, you have to force them to do. Just request a citywide meeting and as many people who can come, whether virtually or uh, uh, live, come in the next 47 days, however, 40, yeah, 46 days now, um, and, and just do a, like a 40 day of repentance all across this country. And if you can get to your governor, go for it. But, uh, you know, start in the local places where, you know, people and, you know, spread the message, spread this out. Cause this is, this is a change. This is a move for our country in the right direction. And, you know, our leadership, that's powerful. That's great when we can elect whoever we want to, to, to lead or to be the face of we, the people, but in reality, it's us, it's, it's mm -hmm. we, the people. And when we change the nation changes. And so this isn't Trump's doing, this isn't even Biden or the white hats. This is we, the people rising up. And this is our opportunity to see these signs come together as one plus one, and being that unit as one coming together. And I think that this will be something great. This will be a turn for our nation. This will be something that will uh, really, really affect this, this, this country for good. And I agree with David, I love this country and I love everyone in it. And I told God, I told God, I want every single one of them to spend eternity with us in heaven. That's what I, that's, that was my commitment to God. And uh, the devil can't take me out prematurely. Mm -mm. Nope. Doesn't matter if I'm in a plane. <laughs> if there's something wrong, if there's something missing, if there's a bolt missing in that plane, guess what? That plane is going to get to where it's going to go because if God's calling me to get to the other side of the river or the other side of the lake or the pond, whatever it is, he's made provision there. for me to get there. And so that's just who right I on, am. Brother. And that's who we are. And God has yep. given us that ability in us and it's, it, it goes beyond faith into the realm of knowing. And that's, that's who right. we are. And so that's my call. That's my call to action. And so if you guys don't mind, I'd like to, I'd like to do just a, a brief, solemn, uh, uh, just as, as one. And all you guys need to do is just agree with me, everybody listening. And I'm just going to repent on behalf of our, well, I'll just start praying. And you guys, you guys just agree with me when we're all done. So... <laughs> Lord, from our, from our families to families, from our cities and counties, our states and our nation, we come before you and like, the, like your word says, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and repent, then I will hear them from heaven, I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. And so Lord, that is our destiny, that is our cry, that is our call to repentance, and for us to make a shift, a mind shift from doing things as usual to recognizing that there is a higher way and there's a better way. And there's grace in that way. And there's mercies that are, are new every single morning. And that we focus on the good. We focus on the light. We focus on Yahweh. We focus on Yeshua and we focus on the truth. And that truth forces us into a position of receiving that reality. And so we repent on behalf of our families, our cities, our counties, our states, and our nation before you humbly. And we declare that your ancient promise, the truth that when we send it out, it does not come back unto us void. That is, your promise is that you will forgive our sins and heal our land. At that point. Lord, we give you all the glory, all the praise, and we thank you in Yeshua's name. Amen, everybody. Amen. Thank you. Miracles. Miracles. Right. Miracles. Yep. I love you all. I love it. Love Amen. you.